Armstrong. I'm the Archbishop. I'm Julia Clark. And this is... Yes. Fraser. Yes, I know who this is. Could you get two trusted men in there? Canterbury. I could, easily. I want the boy dead. And the girl. There's a man somewhere, isn't there? A man who will bring all the people together. Yes, there is. And you know him? I think I do. Garrison in London is waiting for you. The cat has been taken care of. Archbishop Armstrong. What about him? He's dead. So? Murdered in his own cathedral by two of our men. Not by me. It's not to my advantage. Here you go. See his mark. Edwards and the girl, so far as we know, they're unharmed. leave that business even now. No! He must be left unharmed. Nothing must stand in his way. He must fulfill his purpose. Right. They're a bit uncomfortable for you, I'm afraid. But I really think it's best to be keep you hidden till you get to Whitstable. Those murderers will still be around. And they won't give up. It's more than their lives are worth, I should think. Will there be a boat waiting at Whitstable? Yes, I've made arrangements. It'll take you to an island called Gweald. And shall we find him there? The one we're looking for? I only know what the Archbishop told you. Nothing more. Then what's the point? We blunder about all the time, never knowing anything. If I could tell you, I would. The Archbishop was going to, wasn't he? But they killed him. It'll be the same again for this father, Gregory. God forbid. If the king is still alive, only three men know of his existence and where he may be. The archbishop, he was one? A man named Arthur. Arthur? I knew it. And this father, Gregory? They were all three there together, in York, during that final terrible battle. Father Gregory escaped, as did the others. He made his way to the island. Please hurry. You mustn't miss the tide. But there wasn't just the three men that got out there. 
There was a fourth. The king. I don't know that. Please, go now. If the king is there on the island, fetch him back for us. We need him. Yes. to tell you, Hugo... is a dead man. Far from it. He made his way to London after his escape. He's welcome to it. It to him. A heap of ruins. Our garrison there should be ordered to search him out and tell them to look in the sewers first. That's where the rats live. Our garrison there have joined him and named him as master and prior of our order. I have ordered your leader guard to move on London and crush this before it spreads. How dare you? How dare you give orders in my name? We must act now. In my time! In my time! No move. No troops. None. This is my order. All knights are to be confined to their barracks, wherever they are. All through the country. It is vital. Can you not see it? No. If Hugo is to have what he clutches at, he has to come to me. He has no other choice. Can't you see that? If you want action, order my leader guard to return here. Then I'll be ready for him, waiting for the whole world. Why so concerned? What's one archbishop, more or less? I'm not concerned about him. It's the boy. Why can't you see it? He is the key to all Mordrin's thinking. Finish him, and we finish Mordrin. Why? I don't know why. It's a sickness. They must try again, as idiots of yours. Tell them. I have to. They won't fail this time, sir. Escape by sea. You've thought of that, haven't you? Yes. Yes, of course. Father Pryor, I think you ought to see this. Has this been issued throughout the country? Yes. I suppose it should have occurred to us that he'd do something like this, shouldn't it? Well, there's nothing we could have done. People of Britain. Gone back to the old name, I see. The new prior of our order is Brother Hugo. Mordred, housed by unanimous decision of our... Grand Council being relieved of his duties. It is understood that charges are being prepared against him. <laughs> I suppose I should feel anger against him. Don't you? No. <laughs> the man was born stupid. I might as well be angry with the rain because it gets me wet. Try and match himself against me. Television, that's the answer. Deny all he says. The overwhelming majority of the order may still be loyal to you. May. May still be loyal? Are loyal. I'm sure they are. No television. Something must be done. It will be. Why can you not understand that already I have a plan in my mind? Perfect, glittering, shining. Then tell me, and I'll see that it's carried out. You? Doesn't need you. None of you. When I'm ready, you'll all know. And the world will hold its back. Don't forget that order for Edwards and the girl. I want them here.
Something I don't understand. What? Well, we go to this island or whatever, and we're going to be told who the king is, right? But listen, if if Arthur knew all the time, then why didn't he tell us? I mean, why send us on this mad journey? How many lives has it cost, and for what? I don't know. Except. You... Yes. Well, supposing he's there on this island, the king. What will you do? I will. I will. You will find this man, and you will kill him. Help me. You know I will. Whatever happens, I'll be there. I can't stop it. Let's go back. No, Gervaise. There's no going back. It has to be faced. Oh God! So, there's been a split amongst the knights. That's why they've gone. That's why there's been no repercussions after our recent skirmish. They're too busy fighting amongst themselves. So now's our chance. We must take it. We've got to get one strong, mighty force of men. Take this moment. You sit. Smash their order. Once and forever. Yeah. Are we going to join up with the men from the wasteland? Yes, there's them. And there's those soldiers from the guards regiment. We're not doing what the knights are expecting, are we? We can't tell. We can't waste this opportunity. What do you say, boys? My brothers, for the confidence you've placed in me, You've given me. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. It will not be forgotten. My brothers, our enemies are saying that the end of our order is in sight. They look at us and they see disunity and division. Night fighting against night. Well, this is true. These things are happening, but they don't herald the end for us. Brothers, this is the beginning. This is the true birth of our order. Oh, Prime Mordrin, we shall always have a sense of respect. He and I brought us through the Civil War. He and I stood together, side by side, as victory was gained. And I loved him. As I gave him that final victory, I loved him, and now he has fallen into crimes too terrible to contemplate. Well, they will be brought into the light of day at his trial. That I promise you. Prior Mordrin is a sick man, and you have all seen the results of his sickness. Out! All of you, out. The knights are paralyzed and fighting amongst themselves. We have the men. 
One knockout blow and it's all over. No. I'm sorry. Owen is right. The moment won't come again. We have to take it. And if we do, we'll be crushed. I'm not a fool. I know what you're saying. And you're both right from a military point of view. But it's the wrong time. Everything will fall apart until we have our leader. We must wait. Britain must wait. It won't be for long. Please, God, not long. Quite safe. Are you Father Gregory? No, he's our prior here, the head of our community. I'll take you to him. people back in here. Must. Everything's at a standstill. No orders could be issued or information received. Will you please let us go back to work? My work is going on all the time. Nothing stops it. And when it's complete, all that which is apart will be joined. Through that? It means nothing. Oh, not nothing. It's everything. The heart of anger is within it. And it's mine. And no one dare stand against me now. Did the coronation chair survive the bombing? It's in a museum. Get it out. It's in London. How can I? It wasn't just a passing show. This, or the person who wore it. I didn't see that before. But I do now. Why can't you? Come. Let us go to the chapel. They are here? Yes. Are you ready for them, Father? 
fetch them to me. Come here. Julia, give me your hand. How strong you have been. And how beautiful. And Gervais Owen Edwards. Sweating. Frightened. Yes. What danger is there here? I'm very like your father. You know him? I did once. I was not always like this. You want something from me? It's why we're here. Of course. In the name of the king. Yes. A great battle. The last of the civil war. And a city burning in the flames of Mordrin's army. And then the butchery. And one family marked out for murder. The royal family of Great Britain. One survived that massacre. Yes. A little frightened, crying baby boy. There were three of us to keep him alive, get him out. A man called Arthur, the man Armstrong, who became Archbishop, and myself. We did it at a cost. The baby was left with a good woman. She brought him up well, strong, ready at last for what he must do. What are they doing? They are kneeling, Gervais, to the king. You are the one, the only king of this land. That's not true. It isn't. It, it cannot be. It is true. Face it. Live with it. No. Kill him! You will kill him! Kill him! <laughs> 